as everybody is saying that Rush Limbaugh has done something vile here, and pretty much the entire country agrees, there is one defender of Rush Limbaugh, and that is Bill O'Reilly. Interesting. He's going to have Bernie Goldberg on, actually, they would make two of them, and they're going to blame the victim instead. Let's watch. One, here's a, here's a woman who is smart enough to get into Georgetown Law. She's smart enough to get into that school. She's smart enough to get into a whole bunch of other schools. Yet she thinks that a Catholic university, which she consciously decided to attend, should change its values to suit, to suit her. That discussion isn't really yeah, and, and, me, and, and the reason in, in she did system. that is she knew that Georgetown's insurance policies that cover students did not include contraception right. when she there agreed be, to go to the school. There should be more of a discussion about that. Really? So wait, first of all, it's her fault. Second of all, she planned this out years ahead of time. I got it. I'll specifically go to a law school that never, doesn't cover contraception so I can make a big issue of that if the Republicans decide many, many years later to randomly try to take away contraception coverage. How in the world would she have possibly guessed that? Like maybe she, okay, they're, maybe their conspiracy theory doesn't involve the Republicans. It's just that she was going to fight this lonesome battle to get Georgetown to cover contraception since it's a Jesuit school. That's, no, she picked Georgetown Law School because it's a great law school. What was she supposed to do, go to Podunk Law School for, on the contraception issue alone? People don't do these weird conspiracies, except Republicans. That's, I, I guess, why they're projecting. They're like, that's why we would have gone there. So we could then say, oh, look at what the liberals did to us. But the reality is normal people don't think that way. This was not some crazy conspiracy hatched by Sandra Flux so that she can go to law school, so she can complain about the contraception, she can set up a trap for all the Republicans, and then get Rush Limbaugh to call her a slut so that he, you know, she can get Rush Limbaugh. If she did that, she's the smartest person in the country, and we should make her president. But they go on with their madness here. Where's the discussion about what other products can the federal government require businesses to give out for free? That's, that's a very important question. That's what I said on that's Friday. Not, I mean, if you're going to say exactly. this is under the banner of women's health, all right, then there's a whole bunch of other products that are under the banner of not only women's health, but men's health. So where does it end? This woman also, again, and she, she was very civil in her testimony. Yeah. I have no problem with that. My only problem is with the content of what she said. Uh, she is a poster person for the Entitlement Society. Let's have a discussion about that. I, I, these guys make my head hurt. All right, so let's establish a couple of facts here. Number one, she is not asking for things to be given to her for free. So, for example, if you're a Catholic hospital, what the rule says is that since your employer normally gives you certain things like health care coverage, part of that health care coverage is going to be contraception. And the Catholic hospital doesn't even have to pay for it. The insurance company pays for it because it saves them money. So how's the taxpayer paying any money for this? They're not. They just made it up. Rush Limbaugh, Bill O'Reilly, Foxes, they made that part up. It's just not true. Second of all, this isn't like, hey, give me some sneakers. <laughs> that is Rush Limbaugh said. No, this is, I get health care coverage for my hospital, or in her case, she's a student, and as part of her tuition, she gets some health care coverage. And part of that health care coverage is, for example, you know, breast cancer screenings, possibly, contraception. If she has a heart attack, they cover. What, what are they going to cover? Oh, entitlement society. You have a heart attack at Georgetown, and they expect to take you to the hospital and get some medical treatment. Yeah. Yeah, because you're a student there. That's how it works. And this isn't some sort of entitlement grab. This is everything. If you're an employee, it's part of your package. If you're a student, it's part of your tuition. So you're paying into it, and in this case, the insurance company is covering it. The taxpayers aren't giving these people anything extra. Stop making things up, Fox News.